Welcome back, Odooers. My name is Jose Ignacio, and today we're going to be talking about Odoo events. Now, events are a fantastic way to connect with new and current customers. During these events, you can engage with clients and provide them with unique experiences and discussions related to your company. Now, events are also a great way to establish yourself as a valued, trusted brand. Now, this in turn increases leads, it boosts sales, and it gives your team the opportunity to transform potential prospects into satisfied customers. That's precisely what we do here at Stealthywood with the Odoo Events application. With Odoo, everything is taken care of automatically from sourcing and promoting to attendee management and report analysis. Now, Odoo does all the hard work for us from the start to the finish, and it's all in one place. And that sounds pretty good, right? Now, we can also quickly create events and present registrations from our customers directly on our professional-grade, fully-integrated Odoo website. That's the real benefit of Odoo events. Complete integration with Odoo apps such as CRM, sales, barcode, and even more. So, enough chit-chat, as I always say. Let's dive into our Stealthywood database and see how easy it is to set up an event with Odoo. All right, Odooers, so here we are on the events configuration settings page. Now, the very first thing I want you to do is you got to make sure that tickets, online ticketing, and question settings are enabled. Now, the ticket setting allows tickets to be sold through integrated sales orders. The question setting allows us to ask questions to attendees when they register. Online ticketing itself allows us to sell tickets to the events through our website. They're all pretty self-explanatory, am I right? Okay. Now let's head on over to our events dashboard. Now, once that we're here, we'll see all of our events in a default Kanban view. Like our other dashboards, we can quickly create columns. We can edit settings here directly. And if we want, let's say we want anything to do in a number of different ways, we could do so with Odoo because it fits our business needs best. Now, let's create a new event. So we're gonna hit create. And after we name our event, Odoo is going to provide us with a few different options. Now, what should our event be called? In our case, Interior Design Conference. We like telling people what the inside of their home should look like. Now, what's the very first thing we want to customize here? Well, the very first thing we want to do is we need to set a date for this event. And in our case, we want this to be a nice weekend thing. We want it to be a nice little spooky thing. So we're going to end on Halloween. Perfect. All right. Now that we have that, we also want to make sure we're in the correct time zone because you want to make sure that your event starts and ends at the proper amount of time. Now, beneath the option to add a Twitter wall as well, you'll see a field for templates. And templates in this case allow you to use any pre-configured ones that you have, such as like we see here with conference or anything there. And in our case, we want to make our own, so we don't need any of these. Now, the other thing that I can also do here is I can add tags. I can even assign an organizer, a responsible user, and I can even attach this event to a specific company. Now, in addition, Odoo gives us the opportunity to directly assign this event to a specific website and or venue. We can even upload a map so that people can see where they need to go and so that they could prepare for the event. No one likes to show up to a giant event and not know where they're going. Now, lastly, we need to activate the limit registrations option. And the reason for this is because we always have to follow safety fire codes. We want to also leave the auto confirmation feature unchecked just for the time being. But no worries. We'll discuss that feature soon enough anyways. Now, Let's take a look at the bottom. Over here, we have a tickets tab down below. Now here, we'll create a different kind of ticket that we plan to sell for our event. Let's make a basic ticket right now. So we're gonna select add a line. And in our case, you'll notice that the name was actually pre-configured already. Now Odoo automatically creates a registration for interior design conference product here. We can easily edit this in a number of different ways, which I'm actually gonna show you right now. The very first thing I want to do is change this to basic tickets package. We're done. Now in the product column, what do I want to select? Now in this case, you'll see the product type, which in this case is event registration. If you expand that product by clicking on the arrow that we see right here, it lets you, 
my apologies, O doers. Let's go back over here. Now, once we select this in here and actually click the right area, takes us over here to the product page for it. Now, within this product page, I can actually customize and edit any aspect of this product right away without having to navigate to any other page. It should be noted, however, that the product type for tickets like this should be set on event ticket. Then once you're done making customizations, we simply return, where do we go back? Over to the event template via the breadcrumbs. So let's go back over here to interior design conference. Now, let's finish fine tuning this ticket package. We're actually gonna keep the price at $30 because we don't believe in price gouging. And we're gonna make the sales start time well, we're actually going to pick the current date today for this. So we're going to start today. And the ending time is going to be tomorrow because it's this weekend. Now, this looks great. Now, let's create a slightly more expensive and exclusive ticket for our VIP customers, as I always say. So again, we add another line. In this case, we're going to change the name again to VIP Ticket Package. Just because I like them to know they are very important. Now, in this case, a VIP pays a bit more because they get even more service from our company. We want to not make it too expensive, though. Just because that's how it is. And as the same, we're going to start it tomorrow. Or, sorry, we're going to start it today, and we're going to end it tomorrow as well. And then once that that's all set... It should be also noted, by the way, that if no tickets are created set to an event, attendees will be registered with a default registration. Now, in the communication tab, when we head on over here, since everything looked good over there, you'll find that the various messages that I'll be sending to attendees leading up to the event can be found here. In our case, we have one that immediately goes, registration confirmation. Now, if we wanted to, we can also edit and add to these whenever we'd like. But we're going to focus on that in another lesson, oh doers. Now, what's the next thing we want to do? Well, next in the questions tab, we can create questions to ask our attendees. And that's important as they register for the event. We have a few questions we need to ask them. We can gather more info about our customers, such as how they learned about our company or the event in general. In fact, let's quickly create a question to figure out that very detail now. So in this case, we'll add a line. How'd you hear about us? Pretty simple question. Now, we're going to make this mandatory because we demand an answer. And we only want to ask them one time because if we ask them again, they'll probably tell us they heard from us. Now, I made this question mandatory specifically to the attendees, and it'll only ask it one time. And that's pretty useful. Now, you can also provide them with a list of uh, potential, sorry, little little doopsy potential answers to choose from by marking selection as the question type. Or, like I'll do for this example, I'll select text input because I want to hear what they say. This will have my attendees fill in the responses with custom answers, which allows them to be as specific or as vague as they'd like. And everything looks pretty good here, so I think we can actually save and close. All right, so we've asked a question, we've decided our communications, and we have tickets. We still want to continue to customize this, this event registration even further. Can we? Of course we can. Now, at this point, we're going to need to publish this event for all my customers to see. So, let's take a look at this event on the front end of our website, which we can easily access via the what? The go to website smart button. So, let's click it. Let's see where it takes us. Now, this takes us to our very beautiful, very professional very professional event registration page on our website and shows us exactly what the customer will see if they wish to purchase a ticket from our event. And like any other web page with Odoo, you can quickly jump into the edit mode. And we'll do that actually right now so I could show you. And all the useful features and building blocks and other design elements are available to help you personalize your registration page in a myriad of different ways. In our case, Let's assume that we want to show anything here. Let's assume we want to cover. So we can put that there. You know, a catchy headline if we wanted to come through. And then we describe it. Slide into our conference. Beautiful. Perfect. They could contact us. Now, in this case, 
Once you're happy with your modifications, all you have to do is hit save. And now our page, though very quickly modified, now is even more beautiful. And remember, there's another very important thing that you always want to do once that your event is perfect, and that is you actually need to hit publish. If you don't see any changes and you don't actually see the page, it means you haven't published it. And if you don't publish it, your customers will never be able to access this all too important page to purchase their tickets and you'll miss out on revenue. But that's not all. Now, in our case, we're actually going to go home and you'll notice something. We're going to enter the edit mode again. Now, with Oda's event block, as you'll see me search over here, because we don't actually have to know exactly where it's at, we can drop it in right there. And what do you know? This allows us to see different events coming up. Now, once that you drop this box, you're able to leave eye-catching links to your events on any page on your website. And that's pretty awesome, am I right? Now, using this method, curious customers are always just a click away from learning more and possibly registering to attend your event or any other company's events that you have here. And it doesn't get more exciting and easier than that. Now, now that I'm thinking about it, I just realized we haven't purchased a ticket or shown what that looks like. So I think we should pretend that we're a customer who wants to buy one of the basic VIP packages. So we're going to save this here and let's see how that looks, shall we? So in our case, we're going to kind on over back to events. And what do you know? There's our beautiful interior design conference. We're going to select that. And up next, we're going to select one of the VIP package tickets. And then once we're done with that, our customers just hit register. And in our case, we got to give them some good old fashioned real name. Email at real company. And phone is always optional, which I am glad. And you'll notice if I try to hit continue, that mandatory field pops up. And isn't that intuitive? So how'd you hear about us? From the very smart, talented man named Jose Ignacio. Um, that's a very legitimate answer that I typed into here. In our case, we're going to want to do something, and that is we're going to hit the join in. Now we're going to hit continue. There you have it. Our tickets were sold. Actually, I have not bought them. I have skipped ahead thinking that that is all I had to do, and I forgot you need money. In our case, we're going to fill this out again. And we had, these don't really matter now. It's okay. We're just going to pick some random stuff. And our city here is going to be San Francisco. Our zip code, 94605. Oop. And there we have it. A slight odupsy in our country's United States. Let me hit next. Oh, I forgot. Here you do need a phone number. There you go, doers. Now that we're done, we pay now. And once that this loads, using our very legitimate bank account here at uh, Stealthy Wood, you'll notice everything was processed. And just like that, we've sold tickets and bought them. Now, you'll also spot the specific sales order number for this purchase at the top of the page. Now, keep that number in mind as we hop back into our sales application. So... Let's head on back over to our main dashboard and we're going to head on into sales. Now, once that we open this, you'll notice something else. Actually, we want to close that so we can see everything here. Now you remember we were right here at the number 52. And if we click into this sales order, we can actually see all of the basic VIP tickets from the purchases that are here. And in our case, it's just our one VIP ticket in the quotation. Now, once that we review the order, we can actually click confirm and we could say, yep, they did definitely do this. And in this case, it's going to ask us, do we want to update anything here? From here, we can directly create an invoice and proceed with our usual workflow as we see up here. Now, if I click back into my event, you also notice something else that's pretty cool. And we select our Oh, you can actually see it already. You can see there's already one attendee that's expected, and that's us. And on top of that, if we go back further into the interior design conference, 
you'll notice something else that's pretty powerful. We can actually see the sales. We could see our expected revenue and everything that's happening here. We can also see our registration statistics at the top, thanks to these smart buttons. So let's click in here. And it is one right now because we've only sold one. Now that's it. Pretty simple, right? Now, as you can see, creating, customizing, and publishing events is easier than ever before with Odoo. Now that you're familiar with the essentials of the events application, it's time to take a closer look at our other tutorials to further manage your event. So stay tuned. I have a lot of stuff cooking for you, Odooers. Now that's all for now. Thank you if you watched it all of this entire time. I'm always here to teach you guys, and I'm also learning with you. So see you in the next video, Odooers, or Bro-Doers. I haven't decided yet.